Well, all this week, we've been referencing what happened 47 years ago. But let's do justice for what exactly happened in 1974. ORU's Elite Eight run was the culmination of one of the fastest developments of a basketball program in NCAA history. Just as this miracle team reminded us of those glory days, a special documentary was released telling the story. It just worked out. And that's why, you know, when we use the word magical, it, 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 it will never happen again. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's the, probably the truest Cinderella story that you could have because they were, I mean, they were nothing. <laughs> Praise the Lord and pass me the ball. A tale as relevant today as it was 47 years ago. It tells kind of the story of how Dad got to ORU, what he did before he got there, what he did when he got there. And like I said, it was a perfect storm because President Roberts and my father had, were visionaries. The documentary follows ORU and new head coach Ken Tricky as he brought a schoolyard style of basketball to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Most of the people that remember now are, are my age. There's still a few people that were that were season ticket holders, parents, friends of mine's parents. I mean, it became a community. He believed in, in having fun with the ball in the hole as many times as you can, and nine times out of ten you win the game. No shot clock, no three-point line, but no problem scoring. Ken Tricky Jr. recalls his dad's style of ball worked, and it was fun to watch. It, it became entertainment. And when people wanted something to do and be entertained, they would show up and watch the games. And basically, because of the interest that people had in the program, they built maybe center. In just a few years, the team went from joining the NCAA to making the Elite Eight. Nearly half a century later, the magic is back. Just in time for the documentary's release, resurfacing all those memories with one more miracle. I expect a miracle. A miracle is going to happen. When we was here at this university, that's what happened. That's why I'm so happy because basically this has brought attention back to the 74 team. It's allowed people to relive some really good memories from back then, but also you bind together is that, that past and that future, and it kind of brings everything full circle. We had the full. I tell you what, I had so much fun talking to those guys and the assistant coach actually on the 1974 team, they loved it. They were probably more excited about ORU than anyone I'd met. That is your tour for your sports sport, guys. Let's get to Monday and the whooping.